Just because they seem normal doesn't mean they are. Welcome to Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi. Hello, I'm Tony Bruschi. A critical piece of evidence sat unnoticed for years. A tip from a man who placed himself at the scene of one of Indiana's most haunting unsolved crime. Today, we delve into how a rediscovered tip and groundbreaking ballistic evidence have shifted the focus onto Richard Allen in the Delphi murder case of Abigail Williams and Liberty German. What happens when the key to a mystery lies hidden in plain sight? And how does a community come to terms with the possibility that the suspect was among them all along? Join me as we explore these unsettling developments and the quest for justice that has gripped a nation. On a quiet day in September 2022, investigators in Delphi, Indiana, were sifting through old case files of the unsolved murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German, two young girls whose lives were tragically cut short in February 2017. Amidst thousands of tips and leads that had been collected over the years, one document caught their attention, a self-reported tip from a man named Richard Allen. Five years earlier, Allen had voluntarily approached the authorities, stating that he had been on the Monon High Bridge Trail on the very day the girls disappeared. This revelation was startling. Allen's admission had been noted back in 2017, but had somehow slipped through the cracks of the massive investigation. The tip was documented, but not thoroughly pursued at the time. Now, with fresh eyes, investigators realized the potential significance of Allen's presence at the scene. In October 2022, detectives arranged to interview Richard Allen once again. During this conversation, Allen confirmed that he had been on the trail on February 13, 2017, the day Abby and Libby vanished. He recounted his visit, mentioning that he had walked along the trail but denied any involvement in the girl's disappearance. Allen stated that he had seen juvenile females on the trail that day but provided little additional information. The interview raised more questions than answers. Investigators noted inconsistencies in Allen's statements compared to his initial tip. With this new information, authorities sought and obtained a search warrant for Allen's residence, aiming to find any evidence that could link him to the crime. Executing the search warrant, law enforcement officers arrived at Allen's home. During the search, they discovered a Sig Sauer model P226.40 caliber pistol. This firearm was of particular interest because an unspent 40 caliber cartridge had been found near the bodies of Abby and Libby back in 2017. The cartridge had mysterious origins. It bore extraction marks that suggested it had been cycled through a firearm, but not fired. The seized pistol was sent to the Indiana State Police Laboratory for forensic analysis. Ballistics experts conducted a comparison between the unspent cartridge from the crime scene and test cartridges cycled through Allen's handgun. The results were significant. The laboratory concluded that the cartridge found at the scene had been cycled through Allen's Sig Sauer pistol. This finding provided a tangible link between Allen and the location where the girls were found. In addition to the firearm, investigators collected other items from Allen's home, including clothing and electronic devices. They were meticulous understanding the importance of preserving evidence that could be crucial in building a case. On October 28, 2022, the authorities made a decisive move. Richard Allen was arrested and charged with two counts of murder in connection with the deaths of Abigail Williams and Liberty German. The news of his arrest sent shockwaves through the Delphi community, a tight-knit town that had been living under the weight of this unsolved tragedy for half a decade. At a press conference, officials confirmed the arrest but provided limited details, citing the ongoing nature of the investigation. Carroll County Prosecutor Nicholas McClelland emphasized the importance of maintaining the integrity of the case, stating that releasing too much information could jeopardize future legal proceedings. The public and the media pressed for more information, eager to understand how Allen had become the prime suspect after so many years. In response to growing pressure, a redacted version of the probable cause affidavit was released in November 2022. The document shed light on the evidence that led to Allen's arrest. The affidavit detailed how Allen had admitted to being on the trail on the day of the murders and how the ballistic analysis connected his firearm to the unspent cartridge found at the crime scene. It also mentioned that Allen had no reasonable explanation 
for why a bullet from his gun would be at that location. Furthermore, the affidavit included witness statements from individuals who had seen a man matching Allen's description on the trail that day. These witnesses recalled seeing a male figure wearing clothes similar to those Allen was known to possess, adding another layer to the accumulating evidence. As the legal process unfolded, both the prosecution and the defense began preparing for what promised to be a complex trial. Defense attorneys for Richard Allen filed motions, including requests for a change of venue due to the extensive media coverage and public interest in the case. They argued that finding an impartial jury in Carroll County would be challenging. The community of Delphi was a mixture of relief and disbelief. Relief that a suspect had been arrested, potentially bringing them closer to justice for Abby and Libby. Disbelief that the suspect was someone who had been living among them all along. Richard Allen was a resident of Delphi, known to some in the community, which intensified the emotional impact of the news. Throughout the developments, authorities remained cautious about releasing further details. They urged the public to respect the legal process and reiterated that Allen was presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The case, long characterized by its haunting mystery and scarce leads, was now moving into a new phase. The meticulous work of re-examining old evidence, the advances in forensic technology, and the persistence of investigators had converged to bring the case to this pivotal point. As the date for trial approached, many hoped that the proceedings would finally provide answers to the questions that had lingered for years. The families of Abigail Williams and Liberty German continued to advocate for justice, their resilience inspiring many who had followed the case. The arrest of Richard Allen sent ripples through the quiet town of Delphi, Indiana, a community that had been living under the shadow of tragedy since February 2017. The disappearance and subsequent discovery of Abigail Williams and Liberty German not only shattered the sense of safety in this small town, but also united its residents in grief and determination. Candlelight vigils, memorials, and community gatherings became common as the town sought solace and answers. Over the years, the investigation into the girls' murders was exhaustive. Multiple law enforcement agencies, including the Indiana State Police, the FBI, and local authorities, collaborated to sift through over 50,000 tips from the public. Sketches of potential suspects were released, and audio recordings captured by Libby on her phone were shared in hopes that someone would recognize the voice saying, Down the hill. Despite the massive effort, leads seemed to dry up, and the case grew cold. The rediscovery of Allen's overlooked tip reignited hope in Delphi. For a town that had watched and waited for justice, the possibility that an arrest could bring closure was both a relief and a source of renewed anxiety. Residents grappled with the unsettling idea that the suspect had been among them all along, participating in everyday life while the community mourned. The case also highlighted the challenges inherent in large-scale investigations. The sheer volume of information collected made it possible for critical clues to be missed or forgotten. It underscored the importance of persistence and the need to revisit and reassess evidence with fresh perspectives. As Delphi faced the upcoming legal proceedings, the community prepared itself for the emotional journey ahead. Support for the families of Abby and Libby remained steadfast, and the town's resolve to see justice served was stronger than ever. The arrest of Richard Allen is a stark reminder of how the threads of a long-standing investigation can suddenly weave together, revealing a tapestry of evidence that was there all along, waiting to be noticed. It's a testament to the relentless dedication of law enforcement and the importance of revisiting every lead, no matter how old or overlooked it may seem. Allen's own decision to come forward in 2017, placing himself at the scene, adds a perplexing layer to this case. Was it a misguided attempt to insert himself into the investigation, or did he believe his admission would deflect suspicion? The ballistic evidence linking the unspent 40 caliber cartridge to Allen's handgun is a significant development. In a world where forensic science continually advances, such connections become increasingly difficult to refute. Yet, the legal process demands that every piece of evidence be scrutinized 
Every procedure followed meticulously to ensure that justice is served fairly and without prejudice. The community of Delphi has endured years of uncertainty and fear, their lives overshadowed by the loss of two young girls whose futures were stolen. The possibility that the suspect lived among them, participating in the fabric of their daily lives, is a chilling thought that shakes the very foundation of trust within a small town. It raises profound questions about how well we truly know those around us and what secrets may lie hidden beneath ordinary appearances. As we await the unfolding of the legal proceedings, we're reminded of the fragility of justice and the immense responsibility carried by those seeking it. The families of Abigail Williams and Liberty German deserve answers and the community deserves closure, but it's essential that this pursuit doesn't compromise the integrity of the process. Presuming innocence until guilt is proven isn't just a legal formality, it's a cornerstone of a fair society. In reflecting on this case, one can't help but wonder about the missed opportunities. If Alan's tip had been fully investigated in 2017, could the community have been spared years of anguish? It's a sobering thought that emphasizes the need for thoroughness in every investigation, no matter how overwhelmed or resource-strapped agencies might be. Ultimately, this case serves as a stark illustration of both the resilience and vulnerability of a community in the face of tragedy. It challenges us to consider the depths of human behavior and the complexities that lie within each individual. As the legal journey continues, we can only hope that it leads to truth and with it, a measure of peace for all those affected. I'm Tony Bruschi. If you want to stay up to date on this case and others we cover, be sure to subscribe. In a world where the darkest secrets lie just beneath the surface. Well, they said it was an accident, but the evidence says otherwise. Where hidden killers roam unnoticed in the shadows. Well, I think you would definitely be looking at a, a blend of toxic very bad narcissistic personality traits and they will be vengeful and possibly resort to violence join tony bruski as he uncovers the truth behind the most chilling cases they said it was an accident but the evidence clearly says otherwise each episode we dig deep into the minds of those who commit the unthinkable to your point of narcissism he thinks in his own mind how witty he is yeah but he lost that jury i i was i was done with him in two minutes from unsolved mysteries to infamous crimes geez you've just talked about how you've taught yourself how to do everything under the sun i bet you did a youtube video how to best kill somebody with a knife hidden killers with tony bruski takes you where few dare to go how does someone with such a dark secret go unnoticed for so long with multiple new episodes every single day we're not just telling stories we're seeking justice listen now on apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts just search for hidden killers with tony bruski